Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kevin from TBH, and what even is The Last Tiger, The City of Colours? Well, the last time I played a game for what even is, it was Aragami, which aired at this time, it will be a week ago now, uh, and that was a critically acclaimed game that was really enjoyable, really great, and I decided I'd go for something at the opposite end of the spectrum, so I looked among list of game, indie games that I have and I've picked one out that's I think hits between the 50 and 60 rating rather than like the upwards of 70 or 80. Uh, so Last Tiger City of Colours apparently it's a good platformer it's just a bit buggy or unpolished at parts which you can expect from an indie game with a low budget so we're going to take a short look at this game. Uh, so. This game has a kids mode and an instant death. That's good to know. Let's play it in the Tendy level of normal mode. Tinker World, a place where everything can be built from basic materials, as long as the idea behind it is strong enough. From ancient forests to bustling cities, from the tallest mountain to the deepest ocean. All is crafted with nothing more than color, paper, and glue. Even small pets, or giant ones. Paint is reduced in the city of colors and brings life to the inhabitants of Tinkerwell. Everybody has a favorite shade, Let's skip over that, that's like going to take a while. Either way, let's see how this holds up against Aragami from last time. I might change the volume on the game as well. So, move it. Whoa. Man, does that have a low frame rate. I don't know if it's shown to the video, but you actually literally see everything just jutter across the screen. Oh. Okay, so. So I need to get score on. Long way around. Uh, what's up? Just R2 to auto oh, jump over gaps. So you just, while well, holding the sprint button, you automatically jump over gaps like Assassin's Creed style. And you just have to turn your camera and you'll go in the direction you need to go. Hold R2 and run against the roots. I assume that that's going to climb. Yes, it does. So it's very... I don't know, very cartoony Assassin's Creed almost. The camera controls smoothly enough. That's 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 a good point. Uh, so you can't swim. Take our seat as a checkpoint. 
Okay, so it's it looks like a platformer. It's got mechanics of a platformer or a collect fun, but Yeah, what the, wait. Yep. Oh, is this the right? No, this. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's a like collective one. Oh, almost made that around there. Look at that angry face on that lobster. Uh, octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, went by the way. Yeah, so the controls are a bit, yeah, they are a bit clunky. As you can see by the fact that my health is dropping ridiculously. I'm just not gonna time. Now that will respawn me at the seat. Full health. Yep. Octopus, stop playing around. Oh, I really start to, but like you know, I didn't register it until after. I like, queued them up like. Oh, okay, okay. Good, this in shorter bursts because I just it was a couple of times ago where I realised that I could stop you. Jumps. He just continues to keep going. You just press R2. Yeah, I want an L to jump down. Let's go down. Mm. Okay, walk across the table. Yeah, they weren't joking. We said we'd take the long way to the race. Sell that. I think apparently. So, have we just to go back to which we came or. No, no, we've got to follow up. So far, yeah, it's the same. Quite unimpressed. Like, you just oh, I did some different. Just seems to right, let's watch these animations. Yeah, he seems to go through a spinny thing as well. Just that once. But for the most thing. Yeah, should have broken his crates. But it does seem very tedious. I don't know, focus on jump pad. Right, jump pad. That's a cool visual. For the most part, like it does feel very clunky and like repetitive, monotonous type thing. Look in the race. Are we going through there or this way? Oh, I want to take part in this race. Assume that this is not the right way. Right. Okay. 
Wait a second. Good luck in the race. The guy was screeching in a very particular fashion. I you know, I just... You know, like, I thought there was, there was a lot going on in this whole world. There's a lot of people to talk about in... But yeah. None of them really have... That much. Huh. I love uh, that it's poking fun, but I have a very much interest in this. See, I'm not saying, wait, race time. Plus, like, this one rotates. I forgot these guys. It's very fly, you can go behind it. Must just be like to separate like main characters from like so you guys. How fast can you run? So how fast can I go? I don't know. Did I get a shot? It's quite snug. Yes. Both is quite snug because you're massive. Merchandise, grab your merchandise. No, thank you. Where's my race? Assumedly down, it, with weird color blindness. What well, I like this. Weird color blindness makes it look like up, down, up, and left and right would be the buttons to press. Because uh, the down ones kind of grayed out or darker. But at least like, they get, have some sort of guidance as to where to go. Outer District. in the way. Right. Martinelle cargo. Oh, it's grinding.
It's just it's a fighting class. Hey, there you go. Okay. Then we skip. No. But this reset part of it. Okay, so, ugh. Right, so it's the tutorial, really. Right, so, dodge by. Okay. How do I do it? I press R1 and with less stick like you told me to. Three dodge punches. Ah, that's. Oh, that's mental. Oh. So you do it mid roll. Relatively fluid. I don't like how it feels like you're pushing really hard down, but the movement speed is f like rigid. And what am I doing in this one? I've hit combo. I've never hit one twice in a row. Each of them. Some combo. That was awful. <laughs> combo training was terrible. Just gonna say that out big. Uh, where is the other one? Yes. This was for cats. Square repeatedly before combo attacks. There we go, that's Punch bike train. You told me to do? Okay. Let's go talk to Brick and hopefully we get in an actual fight. Step into the center of the ring. that represent the heck of our dojo. I guess like 
having the navigation as well, like it does kind of put you off, like wanting to do your own exploration. Because the wars is so big, you don't even know what direction you're supposed to be going in. And as soon as you see that, like you're just like, oh well, well better. If you follow. Yeah, motion blur. It's about unnecessary. Cool effect, but again, I'd happily go without it if I had the choice. Again, I've landed and I need to immediately. Patrick Star, but like deformed. so sad when he's so sad. <laughs> oh, I'm coming to get you and he's just like nah and I'm so depressed you want my character look at that smile what's going on there right, anyway right back to the gameplay focus I 
much as the beds and lunch rooms, just like, no. Eh, uh, no, no, we'll, we'll focus on that later. Them. Uh, this is such short range. Uh, Alright, okay, you've already done it. Right, we are going. Oh, I need to follow up that one. Give me two V seconds. No annoying octopuses this side. I pressed it once. This is a big puzzle mechanic that will be used throughout the game. To be pretty made up, it wasn't. Right, one last batch. Yeah, okay, so. Even he looks crab. Oh, 
Oh, you don't need specs. Let's put those there. Press R R two or R one will get you across. What that thing? I saw the waterfall then. It caused me to feel up. So I can be paid. Let's just follow. Wow, it's like an even slower version of the escort missions. I like, I guess I've not really spoken about the art style, like, yeah, it's kind of got like that pinata y look to it. Twenty-five miles an hour. Game will be saved automatically when you enter a new area. So let's do this race. Monkey face. Messages with what's my name again? What's my name again? Yeah, I'm sure we'll look. Yeah, this is the like a hundred times.
spent on the race. this So what was there? Do they always get so easy out of hand in this thing? Koru, this is a guy's name. Koru. He rides like a Muppet. No, like, that's that's not me trying to give an insult or something like that. I'm just genuinely. He runs like a Muppet. Like the characters. Created by Jim Henson. Don't die though. That's right. Ha, let's go home. Okay, we're going home. Oh, see, I'd be lost if I had that trail of confetti. To keep leading the way, sunshine. and just all the grunts and squeaks. And he's just bullied. Just bullied a tiny animal. Whoa. Well, I've never seen that look before. Neither have I. Neither have I. That was... Jesus. Alright, so it's kind of like... Very clunky arc of gameplay. Like the wee exclamation mark comes up when they're gonna attack you. you know. And he goes and risks shoes. The animal. And now it's night time and the moon has a, has a bedtime out. Huh? 
investigate that noise. Wow, that's quite a distance for a noise to show. Right, let's go see what that is. Oh my god, where are you? It's paper craft in it. It's like shit tear away for wankers. Color spurs. So we need to try and get color spurs or something. Go out to Special talents. A tinker. A tinker is what you do when you go to the bathroom. I know you have no reason to trust me, but I need your answer now. That's good, and I'll just say no, and we all carry on. Why aren't you? Why would you try to proposition me into doing the job for you? Instead of just, you know, being a decent person. You're saying, like, there's loads of stuff wrong with this city or whatever. Yeah, you won't heal me. An injured tiny animal. So that means that you know, like you're one of the problems. No, yes, I sold you my soul, and I won't do that job. That's a okay. Oh, that's not what I expected the portal to be like. And we're in the gym world. However, that's where we're leaving it. So that was about 44 minutes worth of gameplay of The Last Tinker City of Colours. Let me know what you thought of this game. I think it's a platform where it's, uh, it's very rough around the edges, but it shows like the same sort of ideals that you'd see in like. Uh, not Ratchet and Clank, it's got some elements of like the Jack and Dash Ratchet and Clank type of game, but I'm only a downside and something that's really lacking that makes this like more like an adventure game than a platformer is that you can't jump. I find that a very odd decision. So like it's a collective one where you can't jump. Did you if you ever played Okami? It feels a lot like that in the terms of like papercraft and stuff. Uh, it feels like a like you know, like run about, but even in Okami, you could jump while still going around talking to people and doing like combat and all that. So like, it's not like it's it's not like it's a jack of all trades or anything like that. It's just like not like a jack of anything because it doesn't it only touch the surface of certain aspects of gaming, but it doesn't go in depth in any different sp any specific direction but towards an adventure platformer or anything or even a puzzle game or anything it's just got a lot of elements from different genres mushed together and like so far an incomplete package the story also kind of drags so I don't think I'll be continuing this one however thanks for watching uh, like share subscribe ding the bell for notifications uh, you know for more episodes of what even is every single Friday on Facebook and YouTube. I've been Kevin from TBH. Thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you soon.